Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be unboxing the Louis Vuitton Cousin bag from the Women's Spring Summer 2021 collection. I'm going to do the unboxing and tell you why I think it is worth every penny. Before we get into it, I do want to talk about a few of the hot topics surrounding this bag. First of all, I want to start by saying that I have wanted this bag since I saw it on the runway. So when the show first happened, which was virtually, uh, there were only a few items that I was interested in. One of them was the utility bag, which was a monogram bag, and it sort of looked like an elevated version of the multi-pushette. One of them was the Cousin bag in silver, and a lot of the other pieces were like the big chunky jewelry necklaces. I think there were some bracelets and even some earrings uh, that you saw both in the show and then in some like Instagram photos for like press previews later on. So these were all pieces that I was interested in from the get-go. I just wanted to know more details about them and the price and etc. before I decided if it was something I was going to add to my collection. So that's sort of where I wanted to start in terms of I made the decision that I liked this bag on my own well before it became a big influencer marketing campaign and that's the next hot topic that I want to talk about which is Louis Vuitton's marketing strategy. So about two weeks before the official launch day on March 5th, we saw a ton of influencers being gifted the bag and posting pictures of wearing it all over Instagram. People had a lot to say about this. I think it was a mix of the fact that they're giving away these bags for free and a mix of the fact that they all posted these pictures on what felt like the same day. So for me, it does not bother me that Louis Vuitton is gifting influencers bags. Um, this is a modern marketing strategy. If you think about how bags or it bags were marketed in the past, you know, there were tons of fashion magazines. Whenever the new bags came out um, each season, they would send the bags to the editors for the magazines, to stylists or to celebrities themselves, and they would push the bag. That was essentially how they marketed it. The magazines would shoot it for editorials, the stylists would put it on their clients, and obviously the celebrities would wear it, and then it would get posted in all kinds of other gossip magazines, etc. and that's how customers would see it. So the only change here is that the brands are now sending those bags to influencers and that is because customers like myself are more influenced by what we see on Instagram, et cetera, than magazines in today's day and age. So I am obsessed with fashion. I've always loved magazines, but I cannot tell you the last time I actually purchased a hard copy of a mag magazine. And I think that you guys can probably agree with that. Um, but I definitely get inspiration off of Instagram. So for me personally, it does not bother me at all that Louis Vuitton is gifting bags to influencers. Good for them. I wish I was getting free bags. We all do, right? <laughs> so props to them. What I do think is um, a little weird is how they all posted it on the same day. It felt like a little rushed and I think they could have spread it out a little more. So then I think the bag started getting a little bit of backlash because it was like, oh, Louis Vuitton's trying to force this it bag and do people even like the bag or again is it just being forced and in my opinion i like this bag from the moment i saw it in the show so it did not change my opinion if anything it just enhanced it because it showed me the other color variations the other sizes different ways that people were wearing it and it gave me a bunch of ideas which only further led me to want to buy it so bottom line guys i did not feel like i was influenced to buy this bag if anything i'm typically the opposite because i don't like to carry the same bags that other people are carrying but this bag had too many cool features too much versatility that i saw in it that i couldn't pass it up so i actually did not pre-order this bag because i was still going back and forth on what size and what color i wanted with my ca she recommended that I order it because she was pretty sure that it was going to sell out, um, but I'll tell you what happened. Either way, the first questions I had for her were whether or not the straps, the strap was removable and the chain was removable and of course how big it was. And after I got that information plus the pricing, I decided I wanted to go for the PM. I just wasn't sure if I wanted the silver, which is the one I initially fell in love with, or the black with the gold chain. So. The reason I went with the black with the gold chain is because once I learned that the uh, strap and chain were detachable, I had so many ideas for what I could do with the black strap and the gold chain that I felt like it was so much more versatile and multi-purpose to go with the black. I did love the silver, but to be honest, the most recent men's show 
from Virgil Abloh had a lot of great silver pieces in it that I was thinking if I am going to get something silver in the upcoming seasons, it's probably going to be something from that show and I will put this silver bag on hold. The other reason why I didn't get the silver was because it came with that beige ivory strap and I am just not good with white beige things. Like I can't even wear white t-shirts, I'll spill coffee all over it. So I just felt like that was not safe for me. Um, and therefore the black just seemed more usable. So the second hot topic I wanna cover is whether or not this bag seems like a knockoff or inspired version of the Bottega Veneta cassette chain bag. So honestly, that is a stretch for me, you guys. I really like the chain cassette bag. I've watched a few videos on it. I actually really thought about getting it. I think it is a beautiful bag. I think Bottega's leather is gorgeous. I personally love what Daniel Lee is doing for the brand. I love the thick gold chain. It's totally my style. The one thing that I couldn't get over with that bag was the fact that the chain wasn't removable. I really wanted that option. I do think that puffy pillow type bags are kind of trending right now and that was for for sure inspired by Bottega Veneta, but also at the same time, I felt that this bag was more close to the Chanel 19 bag than it was to the cassette. And both the Chanel 19 and the cassette chain bag came out around the same time in fall 2019. So the Chanel 19 debuted in March 2019 and it was actually, it was part of Karl Lagerfeld's final collection before he had passed away. To me, those two bags really kicked off the pillow puffy trend. When I look at the black version, you know, of the Louis Vuitton Cousin bag and I compare it to the Chanel 19, I think that they look very similar. And honestly, guys, big gold chains is not like a groundbreaking handbag trend. There's been <laughs> big gold chains and handbags for uh, a while. Actually, when I first saw the bag, it reminded me of the Furson bag from the Dentel collection in 2007, which my best friend had that bag with the huge chain. It was like a crossbody, huge shoulder bag thing with this thick gold chain that was kind of like melted. I loved that bag, which is also part of the reason why I really liked it because it gave me like a little bit of nostalgic vibes. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and unbox it because I know you guys wanna see, and then I'll tell you a lot more about why I bought it, what I love about it, and what I think about the bag in general. So basically, like I mentioned, I did not end up pre-ordering this bag because I was still deciding right up until the last minute which one I wanted, and then when the bag did go live on March 5th, I happened to be on the site. I saw that, I think all of them were available. Maybe the silver and the green were sold out. Uh, I, not, I don't remember, but either way, I decided to pull the trigger when I was able to check out the full product page. So here is the box that it came in. Um, I already ripped the tab open. There you go. I bought this online from the e-commerce site. Here is the receipt. Let me get the box out. Here is the box that it came in. Box is slightly damaged in the corners. It happens sometimes. Okay, ready? Okay, set the box down. It's surprisingly lighter than I thought it would be. All right, I'm really excited. Here is the bag. It is the black with the gold hardware. It has these little protector things on these parts here. It is super soft, guys. So this is made of lambskin leather and actually there's not a lot of Louis Vuitton bags that are made of lambskin. So this is my first lambskin piece from Louis Vuitton. All right, let's open her up. Here is the zipper pull. And inside, you've got the pale pink microfiber lining. Let's see if I can get it to zoom in there. It says made in France. Pull the tags out here. So again, this bag is lambskin leather with textile interior because it is microfiber or faux suede. And this is the Cousin PM Noir. 
M57790 and this bag retailed for $3,550. Let's go ahead and get out the best part is the straps. So there you've got this side, the interior, which zips. And then the other side, so three separate sections that you can separate all your goodies in. Okay, so this strap, which I don't think you can see the words Louis Vuitton written on it, it is black and it has calf leather details and gold hardware with all of the Louis Vuitton details. So this appears to be made of cotton. It is not the shiny nylon jacquard material that was on the multi push up for example. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about this because I think that this appears that it might be the kind of material that will start pilling, which I do not love. So I guess we'll have to see what happens with this. It also <laughs> seems like it's going to pick up like lint and little hairs and things like that uh, just because it does appear to be cotton even though the website doesn't say specifically what material it is. All right, next, my favorite piece of this bag, which I'm really excited about, is the gold chain. So I love this chain. When I saw it on the runway, I love the shape. I think it's super modern. I loved it in the jewelry, the necklaces, the bracelets the earrings. I thought this was super cute. My favorite part about it is the little Louis Vuitton engraving, if I can get it to uh, focus there, that is on the chain. I just think it's like such a little luxury detail that we don't normally get on the Louis Vuitton chains. And I think that this is going to be so great to wear with so many bags, especially my little pochette accessoire collection, which I told you guys that I collect a lot of versions of that. So I am obsessed with wearing this chain with all kinds of bags and also wearing it as jewelry because why not? So I'll get into that when I talk about why this is worth the price, but this was my favorite part about this bag to be honest. Okay, so then the pouch itself, like I said, is lambskin. It is in three sections here. It has actually this really cool um, place where you attach the product to. Hmm, this is weird. This piece here is strange. The fact that it hits right there is weird. I'll show you when I put the strap on, but I saw this in the pictures and I do like this feature of how to attach um, the straps to it. And I think it looks nice like hanging down if you were to wear this as a clutch as well. So let me attach the straps and come right back. Okay guys, I attached both of the straps to the bag right here so that you can see um, and then let me show you when I pick this up like this, then the chain hangs down like that. So essentially this clasp here is giving you like an, an extra inch or even two of length to the strap. And I'm going to talk about all the measurements and stuff in a second. Uh, but I do want to point out this tab here that is super strange. Basically, you would have to put that tab in the hole there and that's, and it would poke out, but I actually think it makes more sense for it to go up and just push it back like that. I think that's the intention. I really quickly pulled up a few pictures on Instagram to see if I could see what they were doing with this tab and it appears that they're just letting it fold up there like that, but that is a super strange design feature and I'm actually not sure that this was absolutely necessary. I think the reason why it's there is so that you can get the maximum width of this bag because without it, it would end right here and then you, there's a lot less room in there. So I think that's why it's there, but it is definitely 
stands out as strange. Like, I don't know. Okay guys, I just tried this bag on and it's incredible. I fell that much more in love with it. Okay, so I personally think it's easier the way the chain falls nicest, like even like this, is if you clip this onto the strap chain. Um, so I'm gonna read you the measurements of the strap, I promise. But this does have length, and I, I wanna try to show you some mod shots at the end. I'm just wearing this bulky sweatshirt dress, but I wanna try to show you because it's a really a great length. So no matter what size you are, I think you will be able to wear this crossbody. Oh my gosh. Just trying it on <laughs> made me fall that much more in love with it. It's so gorgeous. It's just, honestly, I just feel like this bag is so much more elevated than the multi push at. And I'm just loving that you can remove the straps and change the straps. It's so soft. I'm a little bit worried about the durability of the lambskin because I don't have good history with Chanel lambskin. Um, I'm more of a caviar girl, so I'm very interested to see how this is going to wear. Okay, so I took the straps off so that I could talk a little bit more about the measurements for you. So this bag measures 10.2 inches across, 7.9 inches high, and 4.7 inches wide. So the black strap has a minimum drop of 11.8 and a maximum drop of 19.7. When I measured it though, hold on, I'm gonna measure it really quick. So I just measured this from this end to this end and it was actually closer to 21 to be honest. And then, ah, I measured this, which is two inches. So if you flip it up and you measure it from here to here, it adds like an extra inch on either side. So if this is indeed 21, then you're adding 22, potentially 23 inches. So like I said, I'm, I'm pretty sure all shapes and sizes can easily wear this bag crossbody, which is great. And both the chain and the strap are removable. Obviously, we discussed it. That is what really sold me on this bag because on that Bottega Veneta cassette, on the Chanel 19, the chain is not removable. So in this case, I thought you could get so much more use out of all three pieces than if they were all to be permanently connected. So the PM bag retails for $3,550. The MM version retails for $3,950. So there is a $400 price increase for the slightly bigger size. Additionally, on that MM one, the chain, is actually the bigger chain link. So the drop of the chain on the MM is 8.3 inches versus the drop on this one, which is 10.6 inches. So you get a little more shoulder space with this one, even though I will say that the MM chain was really cool. And that is what was actually making me consider the MM, both because I wasn't sure if the bigger one would look better on me, but also because I loved the huge chunky chain. But honestly, I think this one is more practical. So I'm, and, and it was longer. So I am glad that I went with the PM version for that reason as well. So I think that Louis Vuitton is trying to get into more leather bags to compete with brands like Chanel. Because their business is so heavily weighted in canvas, I think they wanna try to switch that assortment and make it more heavily weighted in leather. And I think we're going to start seeing a lot more leather pieces like this. I think this might be a new staple classic piece in the collection that's going to get updated from season to season. We already saw it in pre-fall. There was actually a pink colorway that I was heavily considering waiting for. But I, I do think this is gonna become a classic in Louis Vuitton, and it, they're gonna release it in different variations, different colors. Um, the reason why I don't think the pink works for me is because the LV looked like it was navy blue, and I didn't, I don't really wear a lot of blue, so we'll have to wait and see. Uh, but I think that this is a competitor for a classic flap, a Chanel 19, et cetera, because then the price increases on leather are limitless as Chanel has proven. Whereas with the canvas, I feel like they can only go so high. Like you can't really prove the price 
you can't have a five thousand dollar canvas bag unless it's um a trunk or it has construction that warrants that price they need their business to have more leather pieces so that they can start elevating the prices to eventually compete with Chanel, which which would be insane. I don't like the idea of that, but that is what I kind of think the plan is here, that they are going to be introducing a lot more leather pieces to make that a bigger part of their assortment and a bigger part of their sales. This tab is so annoying. Why, why, why? When the chain is on, guys, you can't even see it, to be honest. It's just like, you know, you can see it right there. Whatever, anyways, I do love this. It's very soft. The print has a little bit of sheen to it, so when it catches the light, you can kind of see that LV, but yet it's subtle. Um, and I actually prefer this to the Empreinte leather. I don't own anything in the Empreinte leather because I don't really love it. The Empreinte leather is calfskin. Again, this is lambskin. And I do not own any other lambskin pieces, and I can't even think of many other lambskin bags in Louis Vuitton, so something to keep in mind. All right guys, now I'm going to break down the price for you and tell you why I think this bag is worth the money. So this bag retails for $3,550. I was actually at the time looking to purchase a extra bandolier strap, a more casual strap to wear with some other bags, which I'm gonna show you an example in a minute. But those, the black one that I wanted to buy came with the little round canvas coin pouch and it retailed for $930, which was a really, was really expensive. Also, I didn't need the coin purse, so I would have to go through the trouble of trying to resell it. I didn't want to do that. So that one came off my wish list. Then I saw another bandolier strap that was more, it was like black and white, I think, or olive and white, I can't remember. That one was $585. So there you go. That's the price of a casual bandolier strap was ranging from $585 to $930 with the pochette. So let's say we apply a value of $550 to this just because that's generally how much it costs to purchase an extra strap. I don't think it's worth $550, but if they're selling them for $585, then there you go. Then I wanna price this chain for you. So I mentioned that I was in love with the jewelry, right? The necklace, the earrings, the bracelet. So they released two pieces or several pieces of jewelry with this collection, but there were two necklaces that were directly related to the Cousin bag. So one of them is the MM version, which retailed for $1,260. And I'll throw it up on the screen. I counted the links on this necklace and it has 19 links. If you divide that by $1,260, that means it's $66.31 per link. Then there's also the GM version, which is the bigger link, which is more comparable to the MM version of the Kusan bag. That one retails for $2,120. So anyways, the one, this is the one that I think is exactly the same as the MM necklace. This strap has 24 links in it. Let me pull up my math here. If you did 24 links times the $66.31, it's $1,591.44. So let's just subtract $1,590 from the price of this bag, plus 550 for the other strap. That leaves this pouch or clutch, if you wanted to wear it as a clutch, as $1,410. So do you think this lambskin leather pouch is worth $1,410? I absolutely do. If you compare it to the Empreinte daily pouch, which is a little bit bigger in size, but it's only one section, so it's not actually comparable, that pouch is $950. If you compare it to the Empreinte double zip, which is much smaller and it's two little pouches as opposed to this being three technically, that retails for $1,350. So is this lambskin triple pouch worth $1,410? In my opinion, it is. So the three pieces combined, the fact that you can separate them and do a bunch of other things with them, to me, makes this really worth $3,550. And like I said, it is my opinion that they are launching leather so that they can hike those prices up and compete with other luxury brands. So if you want this bag, you should buy it because I guarantee you these are going to be on the same price increase 
year over year as all of the other products and you're gonna regret it if you don't get it in the beginning. All right, and I really quickly wanted to show you this bag with just the shoulder strap. Oh, again, so cute. And this, you could really dress this bag up and wear it just like, you know, a Chanel flap. Dress it up, dress it down. Put the casual strap on it for day to day. Put this on for wearing it out at night. I just think this is such a versatile bag. Guys, and again, worth the price because of all the features that you're getting with it and that you can reuse them with other bags. So let me really quickly go put together another bag with the straps that I was looking forward to wearing them with. All right, if you guys watched my game on unboxing, then you know that I absolutely love this little baby, but the strap that came with it does not fit me crossbody, and I really wanted a crossbody option for this bag. So I attach my black strap to my vanity PM, as well as the huge bulky chain, and there you go. You have a completely different look for this beautiful game on vanity PM now and could wear this crossbody. I just love the idea of mix and matching this stuff with other bags. Okay, I don't think you guys are ready for this. Hi, are you kidding me? Are you joking me right now? How freaking adorable is it that you can pair this and make just a new version of all of your little pochettes? And then, one more thing, I can add this guy to hang right through here. Hi, adorable. <laughs> this is so freaking cute. You joking me? Seriously, okay. But come on. So much that you can do with this chain. I double checked with my sales associate if they would be selling the chain separately as well before I bought it, if that was an option. It doesn't matter because I still would have wanted it, but they are not selling the chain separately, which sucks because honestly, I love the bag, I love all the pieces, but this chain is by far the best part of the bag. And I definitely want this chain in silver. I don't, but I don't need this bag in two colors right the second, so that is a bummer. But I have so many other bags, oh, like my cloud toiletry, that I would wear this in silver with so many options, guys. Okay, last but not least, I'm going to show you how you can wear this as a jewelry piece. So the comparison, like I said, was 19 links versus 24 links. So the length, so that is if it were just long ways, right? Okay, it's a lot, but it works. This is 22.5 inches versus 18.1 inches, which is the necklace that you can buy for $1,260. Now, of course, you can shorten this to any length you want and just let it hang down in the back and make it a choker. There you go. Just as easy to adjust the length and hang down the back of your neck. Okay, so adjust, to adjust the length and wear it more as a choker, I just basically made it like a lariat, lariat necklace, and then I'm going to spin it around, and I'm going to just drop, you can honestly wear the tail hanging out, it's kind of like a look, or just hide it under your shirt, and there you go. Choker, whatever length you want or how you want to wear it, but then I actually think it's cute as a lariat necklace. So here, show you. You're like, I know you're thinking right now, oh, why would you want that hook dangling like that? I'll show you why. Okay, I have this handy dandy lock here from my vanity PM that I just took off. Brand new, fresh. There you go. How cute is that as just a funky little necklace? Or, I just connected them both at the lock, right there, full length. So I think this is 22 inches. There you go. So I think I just showed you one, two, three, four different ways to wear this chain as a necklace. So honestly, endless opportunities. All right, so there you go. 
that is everything that I would do with this chain. Okay guys, I apologize I'm wearing this kind of bulky sleeve sweater dress, but there is the bag as a shoulder bag. Super cute, really great length again. And then let me show it to you crossbody. So this is the bag crossbody. You can see, no problem. It's got a nice length. So shoulder, there you go. And then clutch. Please leave your first impressions of the bag down below in the comments, whether you got it, whether you're interested in getting it, whether you hate it. It's all love here. I would love to hear your guys' feedback. Thank you so much for watching. If you love handbags, luxury, shopping, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to upload at least one video a week for you guys, and I would love to have you as part of my little luxury community. So thank you again for watching till the end. Bye-bye. Babe, look how cute this bag is.